Hey candle burners and table turners, my name is John and welcome to another episode of Coffee Time. So one of the questions that I get all the time on Q&J today, that's my daily live stream show that you can watch right here on YouTube. One of the questions I get all the time on Q&J today is, how do I grow in my relationship with God? How do I get closer to God? Or how do I rebuild my relationship with God after a season of struggle or doubt or wandering? And when I say I get this question a lot, I mean I literally get it almost every day. And for me, the best way to answer this question is actually to first talk about working out, which is clearly something I know a lot about. Every year, especially around January and February, people get passionate about getting more healthy. We want to lose weight. We want to get in better shape. And so what people start doing is they start looking for this year's fad diet, or we fall for clickbait on how to get abs in six minutes without even getting off the couch. The funny thing about all of these hot new trends in the fitness space is that each and every one of us knows what needs to be done in order to lose weight or get in better shape. Each and every one of us knows that if you just eat healthy food, if you do push-ups, sit-ups, and run, and if you do those things consistently, day after day, year after year, you will eventually get in better shape. It's not really that complicated. But even though we know what needs to be done, we know what would work, we spend our time looking for quick fixes because we as people, we want results without doing the reps. And for many of us, our relationship with God is the same way. Many of us want this get ripped quick guide for our spiritual lives because we don't actually want to do the basics. That's why we keep asking the question of how do I grow in my relationship with God? We know the things that work. We know what we're supposed to do but we actually just want something that's easier. We want something that's gonna give us the results without doing the repetition. And so my answer anytime someone asks this question is simply to get back to basics. And the basics of growing and developing in our relationship with God are described in the Bible. In Acts chapter two, we read about the beginnings of the modern day church, and we see some of the spiritual disciplines that were cultivated all the way back in the first century. In verse 42, it says, they devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching, to fellowship, to breaking of bread, and to prayer. I'll be honest with you, I really wish that I could give you and me a magic pill that is gonna make us grow exponentially in our relationship with God in just one hour. But the reality is, a relationship with God is like a relationship with any human. It takes time to develop. It takes commitment from each side to develop it. And so I'm probably not gonna tell you anything new in this video. What I am gonna do is encourage you to get back to basics, to encourage you to consistently study God's word, to consistently engage with good biblical teaching, to consistently meet with other believers, to break bread, and to consistently meet with God in prayer. What I want to encourage you to do today is to commit yourself to doing the reps in your spiritual life because results come through repetition. I'll be honest, growth in your relationship with God is probably not going to come easily. It's probably not going to come quickly, but when it comes to our spiritual lives, growth comes to those who show up consistently and meet with God in a variety of different ways. And so today, I want to encourage you to make a long-term investment in your spiritual growth and to today commit or recommit to getting back to the basics. I want to challenge you to dedicate yourself daily to these spiritual practices of studying God's word, engaging with teaching, fellowship, breaking of bread, and to prayer. And it's when we commit to these basic things on a consistent basis. It's when we commit to doing the repetitions day in and day out. Then, over time, we will see growth in our relationship with God.
Hey friends, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Also, I would love to hear from you. What do you want us to talk about on this show? Leave those in the comments down below. That's all I have for you. I love you all. Keep being awesome.